Hi everyone, welcome back to a new Infinity Circuit Balance Pad Workout. Just as a reminder, these workouts are going to be a little bit more advanced than our foundational series. So if you do find anything a little bit too challenging, you can always set the balance pad aside and do all of these movements on the regular floor. And then we can also go back to that foundation series and continue to, the master, continue to master the movements. So be sure you're going back to those workouts as well. So that being said, I have a set of dumbbells that I'm gonna use here. I have my balance pad set up. Grab some water, get your workout started on your fitness tracker. Let's see how many rounds you do. If this is too much, 
Little more bend in the knee, just barely touching that back toe down to the floor. If you're feeling really good with the balance, we can drop the chest a little lower, bring that leg up a little higher, or find somewhere right in the middle. Switch legs. Remember to keep a little bend in your knee on that standing leg. We don't want the knee to be locked out where we end up falling over like a tree. Keep a little bend in that knee so we stay fluid with the movement. Arms come out nice and wide, back of the hands up towards the ceiling, working the back of the shoulders here, squeezing the glute on that leg. Ooh, that's lifted. Excellent. Shake out those legs. Okay, we're gonna build on what we did the first workout. We did a single leg hip abdu abduction, taking that knee out to the side. Now, we're going to add a little swing to it. So still with the hip abduction, but the swing, that momentum, is going to challenge the stability on that standing leg. I'm using my arms kind of as a counterbalance here. Exhale on that kick up. You can start to challenge how high you kick that leg up. You can start to challenge how hard you kick that leg up. Switch sides. And you may start to notice if you have one leg that's maybe a little stronger than the other, my right leg is not as strong as my left leg. So I feel a little more wobbly on this side. But that's why it's so important to work on these things one side and then the other, so we can work on evening out those imbalances. Beautiful, shake those legs out. All right, we're going after the legs right now. We're gonna take it to an alternating jump squat with a lateral movement. One foot on, one foot off. Swing those arms back, coil back, get low. Big up and over. Low impact, take it to a step up and down, high impact, use those arms, big exhale coming up, see if we can point the toes as you take off from the ground from that balance pad, so that's going to require that you jump with a little bit more force to really extend through the ankle, point the toes, Drive with the calves a little bit more. Oh yeah. Keep getting as low as you can. Use those arms to get as high as you can. Whew. 10 seconds, here we go. Exhale on the up. All right. Man. Let's bring it down onto your back. We're gonna go chest press with an ISO bridge. So feet are gonna be on the balance pad. Hips are up. Go with the chest press. Now this isn't too, too bad. So if you wanna get a little bit more for that lower body again, we can take one leg up, turn it into a single leg bridge. And we'll switch at 30 seconds. Or if you want to keep both feet down, totally fine. Squeeze that glute on the leg that's holding you up. Make sure we're not driving through that lower back. You shouldn't feel anything in your lower back here. So really focus on keeping the weight in your heel. Squeezing through the glute. Opening those arms up nice and wide, about 90 degrees out to the side and then up and together to squeeze through that chest at the top. Good. There we go. Excellent. Taking it to a seated position next on the balance pad. So first workout, we did a toe tap, bringing the toes up to meet the hand. Now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna start with those 
feet high and we're gonna come down and get a little heel tap. Arms can be out, you can go across your chest, down at the side, whatever's comfortable as long as we're keeping that chest up nice and tall. Making sure we're not rounding through the back. So as soon as that chest starts to collapse, that's where the movement stops. You can use your hands to help bring you up to the top. Adjust yourself. There we go. Challenge yourself, hold the feet up a little bit higher. Or if we need to start a little bit lower, get a small range of motion, that's okay too. Keep breathing. Keep the chest tall. Here we go. Five seconds. Four, three, two. All right. Shake it out. Taking one leg onto the balance pad. We're gonna start with a split stance position. So I'm gonna keep my back foot down. And I'm gonna open up, we're gonna go for those archers. So I'm gonna open up towards my hip that's open. Stack the shoulders, fingertip to fingertip here. Bring it back down, bring it back down. So that's your modified version. If you feel pretty good about that, we can start to float the foot up a little higher. So you're just barely giving yourself assistance on the ground. And then when you feel really good, Controlled. Got it. Switch legs. So that's okay if you don't get many repetitions of this, don't worry. This one's just kind of more of a fun balance challenge. And again, if you want to take it down to the floor, still a very challenging exercise. Even for me. You can go smaller range of motion. Just hit the shoulder with the hand, take it back down until we build up the strength in the ankles and the foot for that. Beautiful. Grab your weights one more time. We're gonna step off for a lateral lunge. You may think that we did this last time, we did, but we stepped onto the balance pad last time. Now we're gonna step off the balance pad. Big push off and balancing on that standing leg on top of the pad. Good, so again, having to make a judgment of how hard to push off of that foot so that you get your balance at the top here. Inhale down, keep the chest up tall. Exhale, coming up. Switch sides. Start on top, step off, we push off, get that balance. Make sure you stick that landing at the top and we're not just kind of pushing off and then falling back into the lunge. Come down, get a strong push, stick the landing, and then move back into that lunge again. That way we know we're using control and balance and not kind of just falling back and forth into that lunge. Awesome job. Start this video over, get a second round, maybe a third round. If you feel like you still need to work on some of the foundation on your balance, go back to that foundation series. Focus on mastering the movements. Have fun, and we'll see you in the next workout.